Monica and today I'm gonna show you the perfect recipe to have an amazing spaghetti with tomato sauce. So let's start. First thing you're gonna do is to pour water in the pot and we, we're gonna bring it to boil, okay? In a meanwhile, uh, what we're gonna do is to put some olive oil, virgin olive oil, into the saucepan, okay? I usually put two tablespoons Or maybe three, maybe three. Yes. And we let it uh, eat a little bit, okay? After that, we can start uh, uh, crushing the garlic, okay? So, why we, we do this? Because the garlic is gonna spread its aroma and it's gonna be much, uh, with much more flavor. So let's wait the, the oil to heat. Okay, now, once you see that the, the virgin olive oil is, uh, is uh, hot, we can start adding the garlic, okay? And uh, stirring a little bit, we wait the garlic to spread its aroma because it's gonna give off its aroma. And I like to remove the garlic once the garlic becomes uh, brown. So uh, just be careful, don't burn the, the garlic. Okay, while we're waiting, uh, maybe we should start a great some uh, Parmigiano Reggiano because we're gonna use it at the end when uh, we serve the, the pasta. Check all the time the garlic to make sure you don't burn it. Okay, I think it's time to remove it. You can even leave it. I personally like to remove it. The olive oil got the garlic flavor. Next step is to pour our organic sherry tomato sauce. So it's gonna be for four people, so half bottle is enough. So this sauce is already uh, with some salt. So we try and let's see if we need uh, a little bit of more salt. Please don't have the heat super uh, high. So it's gonna be medium, uh, medium low because this sauce is already cooked. Okay, so let's go back to our Parmesan. So make sure to stir the sauce once in a while. And uh, it's gonna cook for 13 minutes, 10, 13 minutes. It's important that uh, you guys uh, taste the sauce, okay? Only this way you can really understand if uh, it needs more salt, if it's cooked, So let's try it. It's really good. Let's keep stirring the sauce. So I will not add any, any salt because it's uh, already seasoned and it's perfect like this. Another secret, uh, in Italy, actually, we use that. While we're cooking, guys, we enjoy a really nice glass of wine. Right now, I'm drinking Zulal. It's a red wine from Armenia. So now, let's check on the water. The water is boiling, so it's the perfect time, guys, to add some uh, coarse salt, which I have here. 
let's add, uh, I would say, maybe if you want to count on the on my end, I would say no a full end, but just like this, okay? And you can even uh, add later when you taste the pasta. So for now it's enough, also because the sauce is really tasty. So the sauce is uh, almost done. And now we can uh, definitely add the pasta. So I will use one whole pack of uh, uh, pasta di semola di grano duro Senatore Cappelli, uh, which is uh, an amazing quality of pasta. It's a nation uh, grain. So even for people who uh, are sensitive to gluten, it's the best pasta you can get. Okay, let's add pasta. Okay. Okay, I would like to start talking about our ingredients because um, uh, you can find all these ingredients in uh, Piola Brickell. Inside Piola Brickell you will find uh, a market and uh, you will find all of these, these ingredients. So, so you can uh, uh, make this recipe home. Uh, and uh, everything is uh, from Italy, by the way. I'm Italian as well. And um, it's, uh, it makes a difference. Okay, I will push a little bit the spaghetti into the water, like this. Don't worry if you're gonna have some water coming out, it's normal, okay? So now, um, you will ask uh, for how long you're gonna cook the pasta. So follow the instructions on the, on the packet. So this is spaghetti di grano duro. Uh, it says uh, nine to 11 minutes. So nine to ten, 11 minutes, so you can put, uh, you can see your watch or you can, uh, you can just uh, taste it. I don't see the time, honestly. So I just uh, like to taste the pasta after a while. Okay, guys, let's try the pasta. Let's see if it's good with the salt. Oops. It's perfect. So we can uh, remove it. So now it's really, really, really important that you guys don't, if you don't have the same pot, don't remove all the water, the cooking water. So keep and save some cooking water. Because we're gonna need it, okay? All right. It looks amazing. Okay, let's add just a little bit of uh, cooking water. Why? Because uh, with the cooking water, the pasta cooking water, the sauce is gonna be creamy. Okay, this is a really important secret. And we can uh, put it in a low heat, low medium. So I like to saute the pasta so the sauce is uh, in all of it. And then to serve it, I prefer to use uh, this tool right here, this one.
We can put some Parmesan cheese. And I like for garnish to put a basil sprig on top of it. And voila, buon appetito. Let's try it. Amazing.